What are you telling me, people? Spiritual those in the building, and I just gotta let you know for all of the chosen ones that's watching this out there, and there's all of the high vibrational beings and people that know that they're special. You gotta understand, we are the prize. Always have that in the back of your mind. Never settle for nothing less. Like that's why I only settle down for the best of the best. Literally, other than that, bro, I'm not settling down for no ratchet females and all this low quality stuff i'm only looking for the highest quality and the top notch things because when you start to take care of your own life and you pick up on your calling and who you are man you start to raise your value you know what i mean you got to raise your value if you're a chosen one the more you raise your value the more you're the less you accept from people you know what i mean i don't i've raised my value so much at a point where i don't accept disrespect from no one bro literally that's the point you want to get to where you don't take disrespect from no one because I'm telling you, you don't want no one walking over you, especially if you if you know who you are, because people will do that. They just get a little ego boost out of it, you know what I mean? But yeah, never settle for nothing less. We are the best out here. There's no one like us. We got the highest energy. We're just the most positive beings. And we always have that same energy as well. It's not like we switch up and we don't switch up our um energy and mood. Literally, we only switch up our mood if we have to, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you, if we're on our own company and on our own presence and it's doing our own thing, we'll have that good energy all the time. I'm telling you, if I weren't living like with my parents and stuff, bro, I can have the same energy every day. You know what I mean? Be happy, positive, and be on a high vibration. I'm telling you. And that's the benefit of really being a chosen being. You can actually be a positive being 24-7. And all these negative, low vibrational people with demons all inside them will get irritated by it because... They hate to see the light come out. You know what I mean? You gotta understand, the devil hates to see the light. The more that he sees the light, the more he burns up alive. And you see, you see these people that hate you out there, chosen ones, they're the devils. You gotta understand. If people hate you, hate a chosen one, just know they have demons all inside them. The only people that actually hate a chosen one are devils, you know, secret devils. So always understand, if you ever get haters, or some bullshit that just hate you, bro, just know it's their demons. It's, it's not them, bro, it's their demons. You're the light. Who doesn't like the light, you know what I mean? Who doesn't like the light, bro, you know what I mean? But some people are like this, and yeah. But man, you just got to avoid these sort of people that hate the light. I'm telling you, you're, you're no, bro. They, they'll, like, burn up around the light. I've been around people where I first come around them, and it's like they have that weird, fa like, that weird facial expression. They're like... Like what? Like what? Can, what am I feeling off this person? You know what I mean? It's like the demons just get irritated when you first go around them because they haven't experienced your energy before. So, so it's like it just comes out, bro. And it's like they're like, oh, like, oh, like go do, go do something. Like get away from me. You know what I mean, bro? That's why they get all angry and shit, bro. And that's why I never go back and forth with the devil. Never ever go back and forth with the devil because that's what he wants. He wants he wants you to go back and forth with him, put his hands in him, and shit like this, bro. Literally. Only time you should put your hands on the devil if he puts his hands on you. You know what I mean? Never retaliate with... Don't even give these the devil words, bro. That's what he wants as well, to take your energy and just soak it all up. See, I've had people give me verbal attacks, all these spiritual attacks verbally, just throwing it all my way, thinking that it's going to do something when... I just sit back and do nothing. I'm telling you, chose ones, when people throw shit at you verbally, anything, just sit back and do nothing, bro. I'm telling you, just... Ignore them, bro. Even if they're doing it right in your face, ignore them and act like they're not even there. And if they keep rambling on, keep rambling on, they'll, they'll, let them keep rambling on, bro. They're just giving you their energy. you got to understand, bro. All that negative energy they're sending your way, you're taking that in and you're turning it into positive energy by not doing nothing. And the only, and if they get annoyed that much what, because you're not saying nothing and, and they try to put their hands on you, bro, this... I'm telling you, chosen ones, you, you, don't, you really don't know how much power you have inside of you. If, you, if you're really chosen... I'm telling you, you have a lot of power inside of you. Never, never let no one, never let someone tell you no different because I know how much power we have inside of us. I've experienced times where I've done some crazy shit, but I'm telling you, chosen ones, you have a lot of power inside of you. Never be scared to defend yourself from these people because you've got to understand, the light is always stronger than the darkness, bro. Literally, the darkness is weak, bro. That is why they have to, this is why they have to dim your light down and dim you down in general, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, we are the prize. Chosen ones, we are the prize. We are the prize. And the sooner you know that, the better.
Because I started to realise that the more I started to pick up on my calling, I'm the prize. And that's why I don't go out here chasing all these females. I let them come to me, bro. And it's the best letting all these people and situations and everything come to you. See, I just let... I let the Lord bring people into my life because what I learned when I was like, when I weren't um, spiritually awakened, when I used to just be around all these extra people out here, associating myself with these people, this, that person, I'm telling you, people will speak things and send um, things spiritually over your life. Like they will try to hinder your progress. I'm telling you, people will really do spells, witchcraft, um, black magic, all of the, everything you can think of, bro. If you do those, to try and destroy you, bro, because they know you're destined to a greatness. See, these people knew you're destined to a greatness, and this is why they had to do shit to make it make it so I didn't get to my greatness. And now that I detach myself from all of these people out here and remove them, I'm just elevating every day without no hesitation, you know what I mean? And this is what I'm here to tell you beings out there. And life has got so much better the more I start to detach from these people in this matrix. I'm telling you, people in this, you don't want to be attached to these people in this matrix if you're chosen. I'm telling you. The only person you want to... I'm telling you, the only person I'm really going to fuck with is a female that's spiritual. Literally, you've got to be a spiritual female to really come around me because I'm not going around you, low, low vibrational females, you, all this extra stuff. Man, you can go kiss ass, bro, and go find some other person, bro, literally, because I'm taking life serious at this point, bro, because I've been through too much... And a lot of chosen ones have been out there, uh, been through a lot as well. And we ain't trying to go through no more hassle or pain or nothing. Literally, I ain't going through no more fucking pain. This is why I have zero tolerance for people, bro. I'm telling you. But yeah, bro, don't accept nothing that ain't extraordinary, bro. You uh, literally only accept this extraordinary, extraordinary stuff, bro, because we are extraordinary and we're special beings. You know what I mean? Special beings get special things. And I'm telling you, always pick up your value because people will really play for your value. People will really play for your value out here. But yeah, man. Chosen beings. Pay attention to this message, man, because this really this should resonate with a lot of people out there, you know what I mean? But yeah, man. Because we have the potential to do a lot of things. You've got to understand, us chosen beings have a lot of potential to do a lot of things. Like, we, I'm telling you, we can do things first time and be good at it. That's, how, that's, what our, that's what kind of talent us chosen beings have. We can do things first time and be good at it. And we don't have to do no training, no nothing. See, these people have to do all this training and all this extra stuff. We can just do things first hand. That's what I realised. We can do things first time and be good at it. And people will be like, what? How's this guy so good at this? And I did all this training. Because they don't know we're special. I'm telling you. We have like special talents that these people don't have. And I've realised that over time. And, and the longer I've gone on my journey. Just progressing on my spiritual path. But yeah. The more you start to pick up on your talents. The more you start to value yourself. And the more you value yourself. The, the less shit you'll take from people. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Only click up with people. I'm telling you. When you're chosen, bro, only click up with people that click up with God, bro. If they don't click up with God, de-associate yourself from these people because they're only going to lower your vibration and hinder your progress and knock you off your path if you carry on being around them, I'm telling you. And this is why I tell you, chosen beings, stop hanging around with all these friends and all this extra stuff. See, I see a lot of YouTubers on here hanging around with all these buddies, all these people in a lower vibration that ain't even supporting God and... Just doing all this extra stuff, bro. You're doing all this extra stuff and you're a chosen one. Man, you're not really chosen. I've seen a lot of YouTubers say that they're chosen, but they're really not chosen, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, fucking hell, man. <sighs> man. Every single chosen one watching this video out there, or just anyone that this video resonates with, drop me a like and a sub because, man, I'm coming in hard this year. But... Take it easy and I'm out. Peace.